In this tutorial, we are going to learn use reducer hook, which is one of the important hook in React. So let's don't waste time and get started. So what is use reducer? Use reducer is used to manage state in our React application. In other words, use reducer works like a state management tool. Now you might ask what is state management? So state management is used to manage all states of application in a simple way or to write simple and clean code for all states and always use the use reducer hook when you have a lot of states and methods to handle. So let's understand use reducer with the example. Here I created one simple counter application using the use state hook. So we have one counter variable and two buttons increase and decrease. So when we click on increase button count increase by 1 and if we click on decrease button count decrease by 1 very simple example now let's apply use reducer in this example so first of all let me clean this state variable now import use reducer hook from react library and in functional component write use reducer so use reducer accepts two arguments the first one is reducer function which will manage all states and the second one is our default state. For now, forget about this reducer function. We will see this after explanation. Now let's first define our default state. So I am going to create one object in which we can define our all states. So write initial state equals to in object we want count variable. So count colon zero. Now pass this initial state here. So this use reducer returns array same as use state hook, which means first element will return current state and second element will return a function which will help us to update that state. So let's use array destructuring for storing this variable. So we call first element as state and second one is dispatch. It is the most common name for use reducer. If you want to take another name, you can take that. It's totally up to you. Now let's define our reducer function, which is the most important part of use reducer hook. So inside this function, we will write our all logic for this use reducer. So this reducer function has two parameters. First parameter is state, which means where our application is currently at. And second parameter is action, which means which action we have to perform. For example, increase, decrease, etc. I know this is little confusing, but after completing full example, you will understand it properly. Now this function will return the updated state. So for now, I am just returning the object with count and current count, which is this state dot count plus one. Now to call this function we will use dispatch function. So here in increase count function, I just call dispatch and pass nothing inside it. Now I am deleting this set count and here I write state dot count. Now save the changes and take a look. See, when we click on this increase button, count is increased by one. Now let's see how to call different actions like increase and decrease. So first we pass object in dispatch function with type property colon increase. Now we have to handle this type in this reducer function. So let's lock this action parameter so we know what we get. Save the changes and take a look. When we click on this increase button, we get object with type property. So whatever we pass in this dispatch function, we can access it by this action parameter. So let's use a switch case to manage different different actions. You can use if else, else if, but I like switch case. So write switch and pass here action dot type and inside it write first case which is increase and in this I return this. Now for second case which is decrease we return same count but minus one and at last we pass a default case and return the same state. 
So if we pass any other type except increase and decrease, this default value will run. So in decrease count function, we write, guess what? Write dispatch in object type decrease. Save the changes and take a look. See, it's working fine. So let's recap what we learned. Use reducer is used to manage complex states in React application. So here is a syntax of use reducer hook. It takes two arguments. First one is reducer function in which we write our all logic and second argument is initial state which is object of all variables. Now this hook returns an array with two elements. So we use array destructuring. First element is for access current state which is our initial state and second element is dispatch for updating that state simple as that now we define reducer function which has two parameters first one is used to access current state and second is an action which used to get different different actions so whatever we pass in this dispatch function we can access it in reducer function by this action parameter and then with the use of switch case, we can perform different tasks. That's it. Now in this example, I did little mistake by using type in string. So we have to take care of its spelling mistakes in two different places. So instead of this, we can create one object with name action. And we always use all uppercase for this action object. So whenever we see that, we know it's for reducer. So in this object, first I create increase for increase and decrease for decrease. Now at this place, I replace it with action.increase and action.decrease. And in dispatch also, we write action.increase and action.decrease. So now there are no chances for spelling mistakes and if we want to change one name, we can directly update in this object and in other places, it updates automatically. Now, I want to cut these three variables and paste it at the end of this component. So our code looks clean and easy to read. So I hope you understand use reducer hook. If you want tutorial on any other topics, you can comment below and I will try to explain it in easiest way. So for now, goodbye. See you in the next tutorial.